Anyway, continuing on. Uh, prescription, uh, prescription drugs. Big Pharma has been ripped off like Americans for years, uh, charging two and three times more than like uh, here in any other country for exact same medication. Maybe for profit, like healthcare is the problem. Maybe. I will never like uh, deal with that as well too. Oh, I got tea. I remember. The every three in ten Americans can't afford their prescriptions as a result. Instead of like working to change that, yeah, Trump gave like the drug makers massive tax breaks, where they don't incentivize them to like such production overseas. President Biden and Vice President Harris and the Democrats took on Big Farmer and won. Uh, Democrats capped the price of insulin at $35 a month, um, down from as much as 400 for m nearly 4 million seniors on Medicare. And President Biden persuaded the nation. Oh, wait, no, it's up. Uh, the, the insulin is only for the Medicare recipients. Okay. Well, that's good that, like, there you have, like, their our price to be capped at, like, $35. But, like, what about the rest of us? Or am I misreading that? Uh, no, it, it it seems like the, the thirty five dollars a month uh, for insulin is only for the full million seniors on Medicare. I want that to be for everyone, but like, oh, let me continue on. And President persuaded the nation's top three isn't makers into lowering their prices for everyone. Uh, force them! Don't persuade them. Force them. You're not going to get anywhere by persuading them. You it, they, you can't roll persuasion checks and like being able to convince them to like not like um. Uh, oh yeah, we can't. We will drop uh, the prices from like thirty from four hundred thirty five dollars. Um, it continue on. Now we will fight to expand the thirty five dollar cap to uh, cover everyone. Okay, why didn't you do it from the start? But I guess we always have to do things in steps. Anyway, seven millions of Americans with diabetes is nearly a thousand dollars a year. Uh, sorry, next year the Inflation Reduction and Act also caps the uh, total out-of-pocket drop in costs at like two thousand a year for millions of seniors and other. Um, um, others on Medicare. Then, of course, we're fighting until like, the cap uh, covers every single like, American. For the first time, Medicare now also has the ability to negotiate lower drug prices as private insurers from like VA has like done for decades. And as Kane said yesterday, that like there's still a whole host of problem with the VA. And so Kane doesn't believe that like the Democrats are actually going to work to like um, improve the VA so that like uh, veterans will get the help that they need. Um, continuing on. It started doing so this year, beginning and with like 10 commonly used uh, medications for conditions such as diabetes and heart failure. Democrats will push to uh, add at least 50 drugs a year to that list. Lowering prices is for 500 like uh, drugs this decade. Medicare Part D is also like working to cap uh, cost sh uh, sharing for like life saving uh, generics at like two dollars a dose. Uh, Democrats will make this mandatory for all Medicare per um, benefactors. Uh, the administration is also leading the charge in like against big farmer price gouging by requiring drug makers is by, that raise like prices faster than the inflation and and pay uh, the difference then rates okay so by requiring drug makers that raises prices faster than inflation to pay the difference back to Medicare or which will like then pass on savings on to the customers. Uh, this uh, will protect over 750 like seniors who could like save as much as like 4,500 per overpriced dose. Democrats will keep fighting to expand this these rebates, applying to like when uh, drug makers like overcharge not just like Medicare but like uh, private insurers as well. Uh, also. They were also cracking down on the imposter drug patients like a hey, listings and which some drug makers uh, use to shut out competition once the company they uh, dropped their Im improper like patent oh patent i said patient patent listings uh yeah the patent system um continue on once companies drop their in uh, improper patent listing other companies will uh, be free to like cheaper alternatives the ftc works in this uh, area uh, has already pushed three of the biggest makers of inhalers to lower prices to 35 a month saving people with asthma hundreds of dollars a year uh, the administration also enacted rules to like finally make hearing aids available over the counter saving millions of americans up to three thousand a pair and the Democrats will continue the administration's work to require that any drugs developed uh, with like taxpayers are to be available to like taxpayers, including at reasonable prices. Democrats will keep working to lower drug prices by like requiring more transparency from the from the pharmacy 
a benefit manager, a uh, middleman who generally decide which like, drugs are covered by insurance by and by doctors and how much they are. Like, I'm still like, reading all this and going like, yeah, you could just also just like simplify everything and have it where the state and the government uh, handles all this sort of things. If you're going to, if we're going to have a state that just like rules over us, might as well also like handle all of our healthcare and have it be like for like need and for like use and not be for profit. Uh, continue on. All these actions will benefit family budgets, and they will boost the federal budget uh, to reducing the deficit by six a, a, a one hundred sixty billion year over oh, the next ten years. As Medicare no longer has to pay big pharma exorbitant prices. Every Democrat in, in Congress voted for the Inflation Reduction Act, the historical law behind the savings. Every single every Republican voted against it, uh, against the $35 insulin for seniors, against Medicare negotiating lower prices, against saving millions of uh, seniors' money on life and drugs. Donald Trump and his MAGA allies are promising to repeal it entirely and to funnel our savings back into like big farm progress. I mean, we won't let that happen. It's kind of interesting, especially since like the majority of the voters are like, well, actually, no. Uh, not necessarily that the majority of Republican voters are just all just like old people as well, too. They're all white they, they people, though. They are rich white people, honestly. Um, but it's just like, considering how many like old members of like the like, uh, GOP party, it's kind of interesting how they would like still want to like increase prices for seniors. Yeah, strange. But I don't doubt that, like, the fascists, the Republicans are just want, want to just increase prices for everyone and everything. Uh, 